Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will learn how to use a new feature added in the latest release of Maverick Studio called Render Sets. Render Sets will allow you to render your scene detaching objects or materials into separate layers, and create a PSD file for compositing of said layers in an external app such as Photoshop. Render sets also allow you to render one piece of your scene should you need to make a change in just one particular object or material, without having to resort to a full re-render. The first thing you need to know about render sets is that each object and material features a new attribute called render set ID. These are the IDs that tell how parts are detached. In the render panel, Let's configure the render output and then let's enable render sets. Keep in mind that whenever you enable render sets the recommended output format is PSD, so all the layers end up arranged in a single Photoshop ready file. Next, we must specify whether our scene features a backdrop that we want rendered as a separate layer. A backdrop is any object other objects are sitting on top of. The backdrop is typically a floor or a room. In order for an object to be treated as a backdrop we need to enable the tag object as backdrop option in the object settings. We will use different render set IDs for the other objects in the scene. In the render panel, let's enable all the options concerning the backdrop. That is, add backdrop objects as layer and detach backdrop shadows and reflections, which will produce extra layers where shadows and reflections are isolated. Let's also set the environment background to render as a separate layer. Before we render, we must let Maverick know which render sets we wish to render. We may type in the keyword also all the IDs are rendered. We may also type in a comma separated sequence of IDs, or we may use a range by entering the first and last IDs separated by a hyphen. Now let's review the render quality attributes. Let's enable the denoiser and let's lower the sampling level to 7 so renders complete fast for this example. We will use final render and wait for completion. The carousel at the bottom of the render window will display the rendered IDs as they are done. When all the layers are done. We can simply press open output file and our file with all the layers will automatically open in Photoshop. The PSD file is arranged so that each render set is presented as a group in Photoshop. In the backdrop group we will find layers for the specular and shadows components, which are extremely useful. Let's for example swap the background and adjust the opacity of these two layers to our liking. Now let's see how to do per material render sets. In the extra rollup of each material we will find render set IDs. We will assign a different ID for each material. In the render panel we will switch over to material mode. We will type in all to render all the IDs and we will keep the same backdrop options as before. Let's render again and this time we will see how the layers are exploded by material as expected. Back in Photoshop we will find our output file conveniently organized. As a shortcut. The clear IDs button set all the IDs in the scene back to 1. The auto assign IDs button assigns an auto incremental ID to each parent group or object in the scene. It will do the same for regular materials. For auto assignment to be really useful it is important that the scene hierarchy is carefully organized by the user. Finally let's do a one material render to see how render sets can also be handy as render region feature of sorts. Let's apply a material to the teapot and configure its render set ID. Let's now enter only that ID in the render panel and disable all the backdrop options. 
This time we will switch the output format to PNG as proof that render sets work with any format. Let's render and we will get a layer with just that one material. Back in Photoshop we may drop the PNG over our previous PSD and see how it will fit perfectly. This technique is ideal when a client requests a change in just one surface. In the upcoming video tutorials we will explore some practical examples of render sets to become familiar with their workflow. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.